Hey, this is Edgar Pichardo, Mr. Pichardo, LLC. Today's date is Monday, January 20th of 2020. Um, I got all this scrap wood here from my boy, uh, high school. The construction team was going to throw it away, so they were kind enough to let me have some of it. And I got to build another uh, cage for my quail to uh, move them out of the shed. I just need something quick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot a, a video of a different cage I'm going to build. I'm just going to build it on a pellet, this pellet here. So I'm just going to pretty much attach the legs to the pallet and build it on the pallet, make it a little bit easier to uh, to get done. Hopefully, it'll be a lot quicker. So I'm going to move this pallet into the um, into the chicken coop because I'm going to have to build it directly in there since pretty much my flooring's already done on it. And then I'm going to try to find four straight boards, measure them out, cut them, and we'll go from there. So. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get that started and we'll go from there. Actually, I forgot before I move this into the shell, I'm going to cut these off right here. Maybe leave this last one. I was going to remove them with uh, my crowbar and stuff. I think I'm just going to cut it here and here so it's all leveled across. I can just put the bird, the, uh, the flooring on top of these, on top of these joists here instead of on the wood here. So I'll cut right here, probably from uh, here on down to here, and then this side and then that side there. So let me uh, get started on that real quick. Uh, I'm going to put my netting on this side here, I'll put my wall right here, and then I'll probably, this little area here, I'll put the dust back, maybe go over a little bit, but that's the plan. Oh, so I got my wood mark, I got a, two marks on there, that's three feet, that's where um, the pellet's going to start at, and then I was going to go six feet, but decided against it because I got to put a roof on it. So I went to 80 inches, and then uh, so my two front ones will be uh, 8 inches long, and then my two back ones I'll probably make like 3 inches shorter, so it'll be um, 77 inches tall. So let me get my cuts, and then uh, we'll get started on the build. All right, for those of you that watched uh, me build this quail cage, you know that I built the quail cage designed to uh, the wire. Right, so this is two feet tall, which is why it's two feet tall. This is uh, this one here is um, three feet, so that's why I did three feet. This that's the only issue when you're doing something else. As you can see, um, it's gonna be good here, shy over here. So that's the only well, I don't want to say it's an issue, but you are gonna have those problems. So I'm gonna have to do it this way here, which works just fine. So I'm going to do it from here, roll it out this way. So I'm going to end up um, screwing this in first. I already have my wood cut. I'll screw it into about, uh, I have it to here, so I'll screw it into about here. And then I'll cut the rest of it and, well, I'll roll it out. Then I'll cut the rest of it and we'll go from there. You know, I like to uh, pre drill my holes. So that's what I'm going to do.
All right, so here's what I'm gonna end up doing. I'm gonna put this one going across how I generally had planned, and then I have another small piece. This one here, I'm just gonna lay across going this way. So it'll overlap a little bit in the middle here, but that's fine. I mean, that's what I gotta do to get this done. That's what I gotta do to get it done. So let me um, go ahead and get that done. I'm not gonna show it to you guys because I'm sure I'm gonna be struggling and dropping a couple F-bombs. So yeah, let me uh, get this done and hopefully I can uh, show you guys what I did once it's completely done done. All right, so I have this side down, that side down. I got it all the way over here because I just remembered. I'm, I was going to cut this, but I'm not because I got to leave some free here so the birds can get through this gap here. So we'll uh, let this be, and it's perfect this way too. So what I'm going to end up doing is um, putting this side down here. Sorry, I'm one-handed trying to do this. And then bring this one down over it on top of it. And then this one here I probably will cut. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll probably end up cutting maybe right around here, and then I have uh, some uh, cage clips I can use to time together. And then once I do that, I'll uh, put a piece of board across this end here. So um, let me do that, and uh, whew, we'll go from there. But yeah, it's coming along. I mean, a little bit more work than I wanted, but. It happens. All right, so I got this board in right here. I'm going to try to use these J clips to try to put the cage together, but uh, since it's only half inch mesh, it's not really going through the way I'd like it to. It's gosh darn impossible. So, what I'm doing is I'm just um, grabbing these ends here, just putting them through, and uh, bending them over on the other side. So, I've uh, got to get ready to go do some other stuff right now. So, hopefully, tomorrow I'll have a little bit of time to. Work on this a little bit more before I got to go to work, but that's what I have for today. Then hopefully uh, tomorrow I can at least get this done, put in the um, the uh, uh, dust bath in here, and then hopefully uh, that'll be it probably for tomorrow. But we'll see. I'll let you guys know. All right, so today's the 22nd. Hopefully I got my time fixed on the video and it's showing the proper time of uh, 10.02 right now. But uh, So I got all of this scene and folded it in. I cut it right here on the wood, and I'm going to end up um, probably stapling it just to um, get this to stay down. And then I cut this piece of wood here for my... Uh, uh, Oh, sorry, I'm having a brain part. Oh, for my dust bath, so they can take their dust bath right here. So I did that. Uh, I know I said I was going to come back on the 22nd, but it was raining, so I couldn't. So what I ended up doing was um, uh, editing the video. And while I was editing, I noticed that uh, two of the videos I cut or I, I shot didn't come out. One of them was uh, me uh, putting the legs in, which isn't that big of a deal because I mean it was a bit of a struggle doing it by myself, but I got it done. So that's one of the parts that's missing. And the other part was explaining on how um, on this one here, as I'm standing in front of it, the dust bats to my left and the regular openings to my right. And this one I did the opposite where the dust bats gonna be to the right and the opening to the left. And the reason for that is, because what I'm gonna end up doing is um, to kind of cut back on buying supplies like this and this, I'm just gonna install one of these T's probably like right around here and have it come this way and feed water into this side over here and then the feeder's not that big of a deal so you can see i got to get some of these guys out i uh i had some babies i had to throw in so i threw one of my brown ones in here which i might end up regretting later so he's right there and uh i don't know if it's him or one of the other white ones i threw in because i threw in that brown one and two white ones in here but um one of them's real feisty with my quail so you can see that one right there's got blood on him so now oh, where'd he go? I should probably came back out. Yeah, there she is, right there. So yeah, they're really doing a number on her. So I'm gonna probably end up killing that brown one though, just cause it's a little bit too rough. So, all right, so I'm gonna get started back on this. So I'm gonna end up um, drilling this in, probably put a two by four here, and then another one here. Uh, yeah, I have room from the bottom to drill up. So I'm gonna do that here. 
and then uh, probably get a staple, staple this here. Hopefully, maybe put some staples here in the middle. Also, hopefully, I have enough staples. But um, let me get that going, and then I'll show you guys once it's done how it looks. All right, so I got my staples in. I don't know how good you can see them there. Put some over here also. And then on this end over here also. And then I screwed in my uh, my board here. So uh, all I'm gonna do is uh, put a piece of two by four on the back going across. Uh, put one right here also going that way has a stat to uh, so that the quails have to jump in and hold the box and I'll put some right here. And then, uh, I don't think I'm gonna put anything here. I might just put a piece of board or not board, but just uh, whatever it is I need. And then for I'm gonna put my wall with door here. So uh, let me get that there done. I'll come back and show you guys once I'm done. All right, so this is my uh, dust bath box right here. So that's all set up, ready to ready to go. I put in this here so I can jump over, keep the wood, or not keep the wood, keep sand in there a little bit better. Now I'm going to work on um, probably putting a piece of two by four going across here so I can build my wall. So I'm going to do the two by four real quick, but I'm not going to. Trying to think of how I'm going to get it in here. It's going to be a little bit difficult, but uh, so I'm going to put it up, but I'm not going to put my wall up yet until I frame the top of it so I know exactly uh, how tall my wall needs to go, which should be about, well, it's going to go two feet, but I'm going to go two feet from here up. So it might be a little bit less than, uh, so obviously here it's going to be a little bit less than two feet. So let me uh, go get that started and done, and then uh, we'll go from there. All right, so I got my board marked, or not marked, I got my board up for uh, the wall to separate the enclosed area from the open area. And I marked my uh, two foot line, went across the back, did it on all four legs, use my square here to get that done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure from here across that way on both sides to put my um, piece of two by four. I'm actually going to use probably a thick piece like this one here, probably like this one here for up here just to give me a little bit of a more of a hang down so I have a little bit more to staple the uh, the wire onto. So um, let me go ahead and get that started and then oh yeah and then the next thing I'm going to do is uh, once I get my 2 by 4 going across this way, I'm going to put a piece of wood from here on up to separate for my doors. Um, I'm looking at my doors are going to be a heck of a lot smaller here, so I might just need to use one hinge instead of two, like I did over there, because I'm thinking my doors are probably from here to here. So, But let me, uh, I'll figure it out right now. So let me get uh, those measurements done, those cuts uh, framed up real quick, and then uh, we'll go from there. It's already 11.02, I got to work today, so I'll probably just get these frames done, and that might be it for today. All right, so I took my, put my top boards on, on this side and back here, so that part's done. Um, it's a little bit sturdier this way, not so much this way, as you can see, but I'm going to end up putting a piece of wood from here across this way. I might put it on the top. And then put another one down here just for a little bit extra support. We'll see just so I can tie it all together. But um, I, I mean, I'll figure it out. But um, that's all I'm going to do for today. It's 11.16. The wife just got home. So I'm going to go spend some time with her before I got to go to work. So hopefully I'll have some time to work on this a little bit more tomorrow. All right, so I got my top bars up. Kind of just screwed them in at an angle here and there and then. There's my other one over there. So what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to run a board down the bottom here across a 2x4 just for extra support and so I can rest my door on it. And then I'm going to run one from here 
up here just for my divider for my wall and then I'll start on the walls or not walls I'll start on my doors so let me get this started all right so I got my I have my bottom bar put in I put in my middle bar here I added a top bar here just so I could screw the um, piece of wood onto it and then um, I'm just trying to see how I'm gonna get the wood in here. There's not enough room right here to screw it in. So I'll figure it out though. I might just put it on this side here, put it up, up against the the wall here, just put it on top of it, and then just leave the bottom open and then screw it on the top. But we'll see. And then I'll put in my two bars up here. I'm gonna start working on my my doors next. Uh, one thing I did run out of my screws that I use here. I have these, but they're too small. So uh, these are only like one inch, so I can go all the way through the um, two by fours. But one thing I always do is I try to keep extra screws around. So as you can see, I ended up uh, using this jar here of uh, extra screws I have. So that's not that big of a, of a deal or a setback. So let me work on my doors, and I'll get back to you guys. All right, so I got the screen door done. It took a little bit longer than I wanted to. Uh, see, they're sticking out a little bit. I freaking hit it and cut my... I don't know if that's coming out, but yeah, it happens. So, uh, took a little bit longer because these screws don't fasten tight like these do. These will actually grab into the wood and and bring it in. These do the opposite. If you don't have a good um, a good grip on them or something, you end up against something, they'll uh, they'll pull away instead of uh, trying to come together. So, I just got to put this hinge down here. I don't have a lock for this one yet, so I got to go get uh, something for that. And I'm going to start working on this one here hopefully this one won't be as hard but we'll see so let me get that one done uh the doors attached and i'll get back to you guys oh well we now return to our regular scheduled program uh, the reason i said that is uh because i'm out here getting ready to put in these uh hinges on here um i noticed one of my hives was uh absconding the one i went and picked up last saturday so i shot a quick video on that also but so now we're back to this, and uh, I'm pretty much done for today. It's two, almost 2.30. Hopefully the time of day on this thing, all right, today's January 25th. But uh, on this one here, I went ahead and I uh, put the hinge on the bottom one there, and it just kind of opens and and closes. And then this one, just the hinge there. All I got to do now is get the locks for the top, and um, we should be good. I ran out of staples, so I got to see if I have some more. If I do, I'm going to start uh, tomorrow. I'll start stapling this here, uh, get some plywood finish the top right there, that whole side over there. So hopefully um, things go as planned. I should hopefully be done with this tomorrow, but uh, we'll see. I just don't know about the uh, the roof itself, but if I'll have enough plywood for that, I'm going to have to go uh, check out some of these construction sites and see what they have. But um, so that's it for, for right now. And... Uh, I'm going to probably start editing video, relax a little bit before I got to go work the food truck with the wife. All right, well, it's been, oh man, I want to say a little bit over two weeks since I worked on this project. I've been literally working nonstop for the last two weeks. Today's Saturday, February 15th, and it's my first day off in over two weeks. So I'm out here working on this project a little bit. Now, uh, me and the wife are working at the gym show, plus my regular job, so we got really busy. So I have the uh, screen up, the outside, out of the outside screen. On this, I don't think I, I did. I ran out of uh, staples like I have over here, like these here, like these staples. I don't know how good they're coming out, but these here, I ran out of them, so I went and bought some more. Uh, these staples are actually uh, came with the staple I bought at Harbor Freight, and I bought some other staplers uh, here. The arrow ones had um, cost not cost at Lowe's, and these freaking things suck. So I ended up putting these longer ones here. Um, hold it in and then hopefully if I have time I'll go to Harbor Flight later and get some more but yeah these are the, the staples I'm using right now to kind of hold everything together so I have all my uh, my screening done I'm going to put my interior wall here to separate them from the uh, dust bath and then once I do that I'm going to clean up the outside so let me get started on uh, this outer wall here and uh, go from there alright so I got my back wall up uh, so all I'm going to do is put this side, um, this wall up here, 
this wall up here and my roof. And I'm pretty much done. Um, the water system, I'm just going to use what I have right now, just the uh, gallon and have them feed off of that. Um, the reason being is I don't have all the attachments and stuff I need to attach to that water system. I have the T and some PVC pipes, but I don't have the T's that go down to the uh, proper size to um, connect the water nipples and stuff on it. So I'm going to hold off on that. But hopefully I'll get this done here. 12, 15. Hopefully here in the next hour or so, but uh, yeah, so let me uh, get this done and I'll show you guys the end results All right, so I got it done. I just got to put in my latches for my door I'm gonna put some sand in there but, uh, All my walls are up. Everything's complete. I just have to uh, Do the the roof, but I'm out of plywood. I pretty much used a 4x8 to build Just those three pieces in the interior wall so to put up four walls on it so and then uh well yeah just gotta do the roof but i'll do that later and you guys seen how i did it there i'm gonna pretty much do it the exact same way here other than that i mean this project's pretty much done uh, oh the only thing i'll do different is i just noticed that uh on this one here the legs are coming this way really it's the opposite so i'll put my boards from here going across that way instead of this way which isn't that big of a deal because there's still a little bit of a slant to it so they'll, it'll still have the roof will still have a pitch but um so that's it for this product here um what i would do different or wouldn't do again uh i build it to a pellet i probably would never do that again uh the reason being is um like this one i built to the specifications of the wire that already had three feet by two feet that one there i had to cut a lot of wire overlap wire which was a waste of wire in my opinion so i'd probably uh, never build one on a pellet again i'll use the pellets for other stuff instead of uh quail cages the uh what else um probably about it i mean i think i'll put in the feeder and all that so i'll do that here in a little bit but like i said if you've seen this video you know how i did that so i'm going to put in my uh Katernix quills in here i have both Katernix and white so i have one Katernix in here uh, i'll end up sectioning them before i put them in here probably do uh I don't know, four to five females per one male. I might do uh, keep it at that ratio there, depending on how many I have. Then I'll just end up uh, killing off whatever males I have and having them for dinner. And then eventually I'm going to end up building another one of these, like to the wire specification. So another one about this size here. And then I'll put my Katornix in there. And then this one here, what I'll end up doing with this one is uh, I'll put my, um, my mixture of excess of white and Katernix in there and use those for probably egg production for us to eat and go from there but um, that's it for this video I uh, hope you guys enjoyed uh, like and subscribe any comments any questions uh, feel free to leave and I try to respond as soon as I get them but thanks